I bought this MRT eight years ago from the bank and recently came to expiry. And on this certificate, it stated that I shall be entitled to receive 11,000. How in the end I got to have this refund, I want to share with you this story here in this video. Many people ask this question, should I get the insurance from the bank together with the home loan MRTA? The answer is depends. First, it's for you to know the difference between MRTA and MLTA. By the end of this video, you will be able to understand the difference and you can make the best decision suiting your situation and go owning the property. I'm Aaron Lu here, a real estate agent in Malaysia. Let's take a look first at MRTA, which stands for Mortgage Reducing Term Assurance. Basically, the name itself tells you the sum insured will reduce gradually. Premium is charged upfront and factored into your home loan, so a small amount of repayment to this MRTA is required. The amount is depending on your age and gender offered to you. This amount is generally much lower than MLTA monthly repayment. To me, the most important thing you must know about MRTA with bank is the in the event of death and TBD of the insured, the money is paid to the bank first to settle the balance home loan amount before the bank release the balance of the money to your to your to you and next of kin. In short, MRTA is most affordable but no flexibility in terms of control of the compensation money to the dependents left behind. This is in contrast with MLTA where this insurance is purchased separately with an insurance agent so you can obtain home loan without purchasing insurance again from the bank. This is one thing you should know. No bank can force you to get MRTA during home loan acceptance. If someone does that, you can report that to Bank Negara. MLTA gives you the flexibility in the event of death and TBD insured or dependent will receive the sum insured payout to settle any loans outstanding and still decide to cover living expenses or slowly pay the home loan. An MLTA is transferable to cover one property to another. You can surrender this mortgage insurance policy at any time with a guaranteed surrender value mentioned in your policy. Then the downside to be able to enjoy all this flexibility comes with a premium. Monthly payment is not cheap, typically a few hundreds. In my case, I got this ROP option selected during MRT purchase where if this MR ROP opted in, then the policy will give out a lump sum refund after the expiry if there's no claim. But as now I am a family man having dependents, it's much better to have MLTA than MRTA, frankly speaking. Because I know that the compensation will be released first to my family and they will get to decide how to best manage it. Hey, if you like my sharing, do click subscribe to, the, to this channel and thank you for watching. Let me know what's your biggest takeaway from this video sharing and thank you. Share it out.